Hey everybody, my name is Peter Rose. This video is a very special tribute to an iconic and vintage Ferrari and a very special man, my brother, David Rose, who had a near impossible dream and a relentless drive to convert this 1969 365 GT 2 plus 2 into the one and only tribute to the iconic one of one 1957 250 GT Special that was built by Ferrari and Pininfarina for Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands in 1957. Unfortunately, David passed in 2017 and was not able to see the completion of the car. This is a shot of the Prince taken back in the day. The Prince and Enzo Ferrari were friends, and he had a number of one-off builds in his collection. Here are some early shots of the 250 GT Special while the Prince owned the car. The car was originally black with green interior, but was owned by many different owners after the Prince, and it went through a number of color changes, including maroon and dark blue, before eventually being changed back to black. The current car is shown here at the Cavallino Classics in Palm Beach, Florida. The interior has been changed to natural from the original green. Here are some examples of a great article that the Cal Cavallino magazine did on the car in 2002 after Paul Russell and company restored the car back into blue. I want to extend a special thanks to Cavallino for allowing me to use these shots in this video. Please check their article out on their website at cavallino.com. My brother was a part of a, ra of a Ferrari race team back in the early 60s and then opened up GTB Motors, a small Ferrari dealership in San Rafael, California in 1971, as shown in these pictures of his very first showroom. In 1974, he moved it to San Diego and changed the name to Ferrari of San Diego, where his business blossomed into the second largest Ferrari dealer in the U.S. He later changed the name to Ferrari of La Jolla. Presently, it has been changed back to the original Ferrari of San Diego. As one of the prominent U.S. Ferrari dealers in the 1970s and 80s, David had the opportunity on two different occasions to meet Enzo Ferrari. He and Enzo became friends until Enzo's death. He was always very proud of that connection. David owned many iconic Ferraris, including this Holy Grail. The one of one super fast one serial number 0483. The car was red then but is currently white. I found this written on the back of one of the photos of the car. I remember this car well. It came out of a collection that he bought back then for 60,000 US dollars for six cars. It's hard to wrap your mind around the fact that at that time these cars were just old worn out Ferraris. At this point I'm going to let the video run through a series of photos and a video of the monumental task of converting the original 365 GT 2 plus 2 serial number 13153 into the one and only tribute in existence of the one of one 1957 250 GT Special. I'll chime in a couple times to make a comment or two. Please watch it to the end. The transformation is amazing and the car turned out beautiful thanks to Alan Buresh of Coach Smithing in Blair, Wisconsin for creating this masterpiece.
So at this point, I want to chime in on this video. This video was just taken very recently of the car. And I just wanted to point out there are a number of things that still have to be done to the car. The car is pretty much 95% complete at this point. And I wanted to point out a couple things like, for instance, this trunk lid. Uh, if you'll notice, there's no pull handle on the back of the trunk. It will have a, uh, a cable on the inside of the car that you pull to unlatch it and then you lift it up just as being shown here. The back window needs to be put in and the trim installed around it, as well as the trim and weather stripping across the top of the car. And by the way, the top is removable, like a removable hard top. And all the trim around the, the, uh, the windshield and the back window and across the top will be a, a polished aluminum. Right now it's shown as a brushed aluminum but will be highly polished to look like the original car. As you'll notice the front bumpers are different than the original car. Uh, David chose to make them a little more graceful as shown here and in my opinion these look very elegant and very welcome on the car. As mentioned, the weather stripping still needs to be installed. The interior is pretty much complete. There are some protection strips and tape on the thresholds and on the carpet. Uh, 